Tu manges des Namenems Des Namenems oh, Arrêtez de manger des Namenems, celle là hein. Des marshmallows. Et des marshmallows, ah, bah, c'est bien, c'est beaucoup de sucre, hein, tout ça. Hein. Comme... Bouillot, bouillot, bouillot. Je dis bonjour, everybody, welcome back to my channel. <rire> Allez, dis. Bonjour, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, if you are new. If you are new. My name is... Ella. And you are watching... Lulu Selabi. And for today's video. And for today's video. <laughs> and for today's video, we are going to do another little experiment on my hair. I am going. Attends, j'ai besoin de mes bras. Voilà. I am going to divide my hair into again. On one side, I'm going to do the regular clumping method. And on the other side, I'm also going to do a clumping method, but this time using my Demnan brush. I hope I'm pronouncing this properly. Okay. Demnum brush. Demnum brush. All right. Demnum brush. <laughs> brush. Okay. Before I start my video, I want to make a little announcement. Actually, two little announcements. So first one, if you guys want to be featured in my curly girl journey video, please send me uh, an email at this address, this one right here, this address right here. In this email, I need you guys to send me two photos one before you started the journey the second one after or not after but right right now um, if you don't want to show your face you can only show a picture of your hair if you think that you are not far enough in your journey to share you're wrong if there is a progress in your hair it can inspire people share it <laughs> um, i need you to send me in that email a short text about your journey how did you start it why did you start it did you do a big chop or not? And then also let us know what product you're using and what styling technique you like to use. Right, okay, so that's for my first announcement. Second announcement, we're gonna talk about the pandemic that's happening in the world right now, real quick for one second. It's affecting all of us. We are, I don't know about you, but we are in self-quarantine right now. Uh, and that means we have a lot more time than we used to. <laughs> And we need to be entertained a little bit more, right? So, usually I do one video a week, but because of what's going on, I'm thinking that I'm gonna do between two and three videos a week. Um, the idea is to give you a little bit of entertainment and, you know, um, make you, help you think about something else. <laughs> um, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna be talking about in, in those extra two to three videos i mean one to two videos and that's why i need your help can you please let me know in the comments below what uh what subject you would like for me to talk about uh, is it more of a skincare routine or more diys uh i would like to not just do hair things because there's only so much you can talk about when it comes to hair uh, and i know a lot of you come to my channel to learn about curly hair but this is a different time and uh, I just want to offer something different to you guys. So let me know in the comments below if there are other subjects you would like for me to talk about and I would be more than happy to do um, more videos for you about those specific subjects. Also, I think I'm going to do a little bit more live streams. Uh, so let me know what time of the day is a good time for you to watch a live stream, okay? All right, my loves, with no further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> ah, that is ready. Okay. Right. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time. Love you. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, I am done dividing my hair. I am going to start with the regular clumping method without using the demon brush and I'm going to do this with my head upside down. Whoosh. So here we go again. Right now I have absolutely no product in my hair. Uh, I am going to use these two products. Uh, the same products that I used for the previous video, which is the Kinky Curly Nut Today Leave-In Conditioner and the Bioterra Alcohol-Free Defining Gel. All right, so let's get this party started. This is about how much I'm putting on the Kinky Curly.
done with the clumping method on this side. I am ready to go and diffuse my hair and then I will come back to do the other side. See you guys in a second. All right, my loves, I am back. And this side is 60% uh, dry, I wanna say. I'm keeping it a little wet because once I'm gonna dry the other side, um, I don't wanna have too much frizz on that side. Anyway, if you saw the previous video, which by the way, I will link right here, uh, you kind of know what the deal is. All right, so now uh, we're going to do, I, mean, I am going to do the other side. I'm gonna re-wet it and I'm gonna apply the exact same products. This time I am going to brush my hair with the Demnon, the Demnon brush. I cannot pronounce this name. Uh, I'm gonna brush my hair with the Demnon brush in the hope that it will help with the curl formation. If you've been following me for a while, you pretty much know that I'm not a big fan of the Demon brush. Uh, why? Because I've never, it's, it never really did anything for my curl formation, personally. I have a hair type that is very fine. Um, and when I use this on my hair, I don't really see my curls popping more but when I use it on my daughter's hair I definitely see a better definition in the curl formation so that's just my personal uh, experience with the demon brush it might be different for you everybody's different although we may have hair that look very similar they might react differently to the same product so you know that's just my personal experience um all right so my hair is soaked and it's dripping right now just adding a little bit more to the back and to the roots uh, i am going to do the same thing i'm going to put my hair upside down apply the product uh, but this time we are going to use this tool to create curl clumps uh, and the goal is to see what's the difference between the two sides right all right let's go Step one, leave-in conditioner. I'm putting about the same amount. Right now I am doing the technique that I've seen on the internet which is brushing and then twisting this is what I've seen and then shaking a little bit and then I'm gonna scrunch so now there's definitely a difference I personally see a difference my curls are aligned better and they are twisting on each other better. Let me do this one again. All right, now I'm gonna use the microfiber towels to take out the excess. done with the styling I am ready to go and diffuse my hair this is what we're dealing with right now I'm trying to keep my head upside down but it's hard to film a video with my head upside down <laughs> anyways like I say uh, in the previous video we're not striking for perfection we're just trying to see what the difference is here okay all right I'm gonna go and diffuse my hair and I'll be right back 
All right, my loves, I've been drying my hair a couple minutes ago. I was waiting for it to fluff up a little bit, but I'm just gonna show you what I have so far. Okay, we're gonna start with the side where I only used my hands. What I can see right now is I have a, a bunch of nice clumps, like this one right here, super cute. I have, again, you guys, we're not striving for perfection here. It's really hard to uh, clump and diffuse half of your hair and then clump and diffuse the other half. It's just to give a general idea of what we could get. Of course, all this could be so much better, but all right, let's just take it easy on me. <laughs> okay, that's another clump right here that is kind of cute. And I had another one in the back, not sure if it's still there. Um, here on the more wavy side of my hair boom okay overall I have some nice clumps but I have also have a lot of loose curls and I think that's because of how I diffuse my hair instead of saying staying like this for a while I kind of went all around um, so I disrupt the clump the clump a little bit when I was diffusing my hair that's on me uh, but overall it looks pretty good. I like the volume. I like how it's a little bit lifted from my roots and it gives me a little bit more volume on this side than it does on that side. I hope that's obvious on the camera. I personally see it on my mirror. Now switching to the other side. So what can I say about the other side? Uh, I have a lot more clumps and each clumps are very defined. I have spirals over spirals over spirals <laughs> like I could definitely see the difference between my hand side and my demon brush side now the other thing I can see is the orientation of my hair I brush my hair this way I style my hair this way I diffuse my hair this way and what I'm getting is a flatter uh, not so root lifted uh, overall look I also the hair is also kind of covering my eye a little bit um, as opposed to this side where it's more like this it's lifted from my roots on the side and my face is you know open. so that is something to take in consideration when using the demon brush the orientation in which you're gonna brush your hair the way you're gonna style your hair and diffuse your hair uh, it's gonna pretty much set your hair for the entire day you see it very well here my hair was brushed this way it's falling this way my hair was hand curled that way it's falling this way so this is something um, that we can learn from this experiment also all right what else can I say if you guys saw my previous video where I do a uh, clumping method versus hand curling slash wick and shake technique um, you see that one side has a lot more volume than the other side we're not that extreme today I feel like I still kind of have a good amount of volume on both sides but I have to say the demon brush definitely give me better definition as far as the spiral curls uh, that I can compare to finger curling uh, as opposed to the clumping method it's actually the first time that I witness a, a demon brush uh, changing my, well not changing, but defining my curl pattern. Uh, with the styling technique I used to do before the clumping method, uh, I would use a demon brush and be like, yeah, I don't, I'm sorry, but I don't see a difference. And now that I use it with the clumping method, I can definitely see a huge difference between the two sides. Now, which one do I like the best? It's hard to tell because right now all I want to do is put my hands in my hair and fluff it up on both sides but I am restraining myself from doing that because I really want to show it to you <laughs> both sides. Uh, right now I like this side better because of the volume and the fact that it's my natural curl patterns and I feel like this side my curl is like asking me to be set free <laughs> but that's just me. Um, you guys let me know in the comments below which side you like better, better, better. <laughs> Um, and voila, I think that's it. I think this experiment was another success. We really see the difference a demon brush can bring to your hair when using the clumping method. And uh, yeah, again, boom. This is, this is a big, big difference.
at least in my book is it a big difference i mean look at how perfect this is and this is not as perfect but again i love this side <laughs> Before I go, I want you guys to know that this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a nine row diamond brush and I took out four, so I'm left with five rows, okay? Um, yeah, you can put more or less. I'm not sure what the difference would be. Uh, if you have more, let me know in the comments below what difference you see. Probably smaller curls, I would say. Um, and then voila, that's it. All right, my love, I am all said and done with this video. Let me know in the comments below what did you think about this little experiment? Which side do you like better? Let us know if you use the Demnon brush uh, with the clumping method. Did you ever? Did you see a big difference in your result? Um, how many rows do you have to your Demnon brush? Also, let me know in the comments below what type of video you would like to see from me uh, since I'm gonna be posting a little bit more uh, often. And don't forget to send me an email with your curly girl journey. All right. Okay. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Until then, my loves, have a beautiful life. Au revoir et à bientôt. <laughs> hey, c'est la vie. <laughs>